Well, I've got this. Man, the handbrake's on on this. Naughty. Not in gear. I'm going to go rolling. There you go. I'm getting hot in here now. Are you filming? Yes. Right. So, a bit of sweet for us at the moment. Um, we're really, really excited. We've picked up our new van. Um, we're currently sat in the Sprinter. An empty Sprinter. Yeah, we've emptied it out and piled it all into the other van to get sorted, haven't we? Yeah, literally piled it. It's, yeah. <laughs> we're concentrating on the Sprinter at the moment because we want to get it empty and get it ready because as much as we want to keep it, we can't keep them both, so it's going to have to go. So we've literally, yeah, taken pretty much all of our stuff out. It's really, really empty now. And, yeah. um just gonna get get it sorted and ready to go yeah it's a bit sad isn't it but we built this van <laughs> so we, we know every inch of this van and there's a lot of blood sweat and tears went into this so it is a shame but really for four of us we we just need some extra space these lockdowns have also sort of yeah they've highlighted haven't they yeah. this, this whole so we've traveled now since 2017 we know where we could get our first van, we know where we could get the Sprinter, and we've got a rough idea of where we can get the new van, haven't we? It's, it's slightly bigger. Yeah, just a little bit bigger. Yeah. <laughs> so, we're going to put a statistics, we're going to put out some statistics on our vans, aren't we? Yeah, I mean, the new van is big, and it is a lot bigger than this one, but it compared to our first motorhome, it's actually not that much bigger. Yeah, really lengthwise yeah but yeah we'll do a statistics <laughs> post won't we we will so. okay i'll sit in the cab you can see how empty it is but we're gonna do a tour of this one properly and aren't we know we? we've been promising it for a long time and now we're going to get rid of it we'll finally get around to doing it yeah we're definitely going to do it and uh we're going to do i know everyone wants to see the new the new um van as well so we're going to get on that as well. We just need to settle in because it is kind of just a mess at the moment. Yeah. So but we'll get now, there. It's just, for now, it's just an update, isn't it? It as is. As to where we are, yeah. what we're doing. And a bit of an intro to the new van, really. We've been really busy. We're fortunate, unfortunate, I don't know what way you want to look at it, that I work in the food industry, which makes us an essential worker. You look like you're missing an arm. I am missing an arm. <laughs> <laughs> it is here. But I'm getting ready to open the door. So, as we're a central worker, it means we can work right through the lockdowns. Um, Which is good for us for getting the money in, isn't it? And being self employed, if we don't work, we get no money. So, all in all, it's all good. Can't argue. No. Mustn't grumble. Okay. Oh, I like. Oh, so this is a new van. This is our new little van. I think Top oh Topsy was in the window. She's decided to go away now. So there it is. The Ivico Euro cargo. And we're going for a really big slidey door. Which is fine. Topsy knows how to get out the damn thing though as soon as you open it, doesn't Down she? There. But we let her out anyway, but there's just times when you wouldn't necessarily want her out if you're right by the road and she'll jump out. Well, I'm in this sprinter now, all the mattresses are pulled up to wear it. We've come in here today and it's snowy. And we've come in just to turn the diesel heater on. Just yeah, just to keep it warm, isn't it? And yeah, but we're on a campsite at the moment. We are, yeah. And uh, we've got the electric plugged into the new one. And we've got a dehumidifier going as well, haven't we? Yes. So, it's all handy. But I'm cold, so... Come out. Let's get in. Big door. Little door. I've got no idea what state it is in here. No. We are in a little bit of a mess. Mm -hmm. So you'll have to excuse that, but we are moving house. Why has that gone off? Because the power's gone off on site, I'm guessing. Because everyone's yeah, got I an extra heater. Yeah, I think extra heaters on and it keeps knocking the power off. So, uh, so we have a little bit extra room in here. And we have Cooper and Topsy. <laughs> yeah, I think they prefer. 
I think the kids are reading up there. Are they reading? I think they're, I think they're on devices. Now. But at the moment we've got this fan heater. It's not right. A... So it is a mess. We know it's a mess. We're moving house or van, whatever way you want to put it. Once we're all steady and ready and finished in here, we're going to do a van tour, aren't we? we of are. this one as well. Yeah, I mean, oh, it's come back on again. Woohoo! Um, yeah, Tops' his little trays in the middle of the floor. And... That needs a place to live. <laughs> Tops is like, you're talking about me. Good girl. Good girl. So we have our Vasto wet wet system, is it? Heating system. So yeah. we've got an air blower underneath this seat here. We've got air blowers underneath the back of Kate's feet in there. And in there we've got one. And in, in the bathroom in there we'll we've got you. one. Yeah. But we'll show that on the tour. But it's yeah. a Webasto heating system and currently we need to get it serviced and we've we... decided not to work the day before snow. Yeah. So yeah, we're just relying on this little one, but it's alright, isn't it? It's we were hoping warm, we were hoping to get it serviced on Friday, which is good because we were going to take the van out for a run mm -hmm. a couple of days ago, but they cancelled last minute because the engineer's gone sick. So we're we're looking at getting the heater serviced as soon as they can fit us in. We just need to know when the chap's back from his sickness. Hopefully, it's nothing serious. Snowing. It's cold. But we've got a new van, yay! <laughs> yeah, we're happy with the van. We couldn't be happier. <laughs>